Welcome to the EngHouse Interactive Touchpoint Operator Console Training. In this training, we will discuss the layout of the console, go over call handling, which includes making and answering calls, placing calls on hold, and transferring. I will show you how to take and return from a break, and how to create groups and add contacts. I will also show you how to check your voicemail, call history, and other statistics. We will start by going over the console window. Once you have signed in, you need to log in to get into your queues. To log in, click Log in to get queue calls. People that you call frequently, you can add to a favorites list. Here is my favorites list. In this search box, you can either dial a number or search for a contact that is not in your favorites list. The green box at the bottom of the screen is where an incoming queue call shows up. Once you have answered a call, this is what the current call box looks like. If you place a call on hold, this is what the hold screen looks like. When a call is ringing your queue, click Request Call. Then click Answer or pick up the handset. To place a call within the console, click on the search field. Type in a contact's name, number, or dial the trunk access code 8 or 9, and then a number, and click Make a Call, or click a favorite, and click Make a Call. To place a call on hold, while on a call, click Hold. To retrieve a held call, click on the blue box at the bottom of the screen, then click Talk To. As an operator, there are a few different ways you can transfer a call. The first one we will go over is called a blind transfer. First, click on the search field, type in a contact's name, number, or the trunk access code 8 or 9, and then the number. Then click Transfer Directly To. This will complete the transfer. The second type of transfer is called a supervised transfer. Click on the search field, type in a contact's name, select the box that has three periods in it, select Supervised Transfer. Once you are done consulting, click Complete Transfer. The last type of transfer we will go over is transferring to a cell phone number. Click on the search field, type in a contact's name, and select the cell phone number in the box that pops up. Then click Transfer Directly To. To take a break from getting queue calls, click on your name, logged in, click on Take a Break for a 5 minute break, or click on the gear if you would like an extended break. If you select the gear, it brings up your break options. Select the type of break that you would like to take and select Start Break. Once you click Start Break, a timer starts counting down the minutes you have left on break. To end a break early, click on your name and click Finish Your Break. To add a contact to your directory, while on a call, click Add to Contacts. A Contact tab will then pop up. Choose the type of contact, Personal or Global. Fill in the information, first name, last name, company, and department. Once all applicable information has been added, click Add Contact. To add a favorite to your list, type in a name or number and click on the contact. Click All Details. Scroll with one of the arrows until you reach Groups. Click More Groups and select the plus sign to add to a group that you would like the contact in. To check your statistics in the queue, click on your name. Choose Statistics. From here, you can check the queues view, which is based on how you take calls from the queue. Agents view shows who is logged in, on a break, in work time, or on a call. It also displays which class agents are logged into. History displays past calls and pending wrap-ups. It also shows voice messages, played, unplayed, Q 
queue interaction, direct inbound interaction, and direct outbound interaction. Please see the key below. The dashboard displays statistics related to agent productivity, shows break time, work time, total calls, active calls, and average call handle times. To change preferences within the console, click on your name. Choose the screwdriver and wrench icon. Within that menu, you can change general, which is headset and transfer settings, notifications, which include pop-up and sound notification and delays, sign in and out, automatic sign in and out options, global hotkeys, which are keyboard shortcuts, contacts and groups, how you can create a new group, sounds, which is your default ringtones, change your extension, from here you can assign a new extension, change passcode, which is changing your password, and reset touchpoint, which resets it to default settings. To log out of touchpoint and stop receiving queue calls, Click on your name, choose Exit Touchpoint, and choose Log Out. If you do not choose Log Out, you will continue to be logged in and able to receive queued calls even though the program looks like it's closed, it is still running in the background. Once you choose Log Out, click Exit. Congratulations! You have finished the EngHouse Interactive Touchpoint Operator Console Training. If you have any questions, please contact your system administrator.